many of us, TV shows like Knight Rider and movies like Blade Runner introduced us to the possibilities and pitfalls of artificial intelligence. But the reality of AI is much more innocuous. The original idea around artificial intelligence was to create software or machines that were as smart as humans and really have general intelligence. Matt Rosen, tech expert and CEO of technology services firm Alata, says there are three main types of this hot technology. AI, machine learning, and deep learning. What would you like to know? We'll kick things off with AI or artificial intelligence. AI as it exists today is actually very narrow or shallow because it's, it can only fix the specific tasks that you give to it. Those tasks or instructions are AI algorithms that we interact with all the time. Some easy examples are like Google. When you go and you fill in Google search and you're like, we figured out what I was searching for before I was even done. Other examples are automated call centers, as well as traffic and weather apps. The next level of AI is machine learning. It is a step up from AI because, like the name suggests, the machine can learn on its own. Some real-world examples use a type of machine learning known as natural language processing, or NLP. This allows computers to understand us when we speak. Alexa, call Sam and Susan. Amazon, Apple, and Google. Voice-activated smart devices learn your accent and tone of voice, which greatly benefits those with disabilities. Alexa, trigger door open. Diving into our last example of AI, deep learning. This requires a lot of computing power. It uses many layer of data and algorithms. It's actually similar how a human draws conclusions. A subset of deep learning is computer vision. This tech allows driverless cars to understand various objects. Like us, the computer learns by example. It has to see millions of images in videos to identify a stop sign. Matt says we won't see rogue AIs taking over anytime soon because they don't quite have the power to be human just yet. Most of human communication, it's a mix of both visual and auditory, and computers, for instance, don't do that today. Giving computers the power to think with an intro to AI.